everyone. I wanted to celebrate a special day with you. Today is my nine year anniversary here at WHSV. I can't believe it's been nine years. But I wanted to do something a little fun, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the backstory about how I got into weather and share some old photos with you. And also, yes, I found my original video of my first weekend on air back in October 2010. So how did it all begin? Well, I actually think my meteorology career started at Chili's. I was hired at Chili's restaurants, 122898. See, I still remember my hire date. And I started as a hostess and worked my way up and eventually I became a trainer after several years. Then I became a corporate trainer. So as a corporate trainer, you go around with a, a team, uh, usually it was about 20 to 22 of us, and we would open new restaurants and train all the new employees. Sometimes we train managers and we would open new restaurants across the country. And I even got to go to a couple international openings uh, while I did that. So I trained with Chili's for about six, seven years. And during that time, I found myself caught in a lot of weather events, uh, 04, 05, big hurricane years when Florida was hit by a lot of hurricanes, 05 was Katrina. Um, I ended up spending three months in Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina. We were evacuated right before the storm and then I ended up spending a couple months there afterwards helping to rebuild some of these restaurants and train new employees. So after a while it was just kind of beating me on the head so I contacted Mark Reynolds, the chief meteorologist at WJHL in Johnson City, Tennessee, which is where I was living at the time, and he basically talked me into the meteorology program. I never wanted to be on TV. I had no desire to be on TV. I wanted to be behind the scenes, and he's the one that actually talked me into being on television. I left Chili's in Johnson City, Tennessee in October of 2010. But that was hard to leave, but it was time to start my new chapter. And the new chapter was in Harrisonburg, Virginia, in the Shenandoah Valley. Here's some embarrassing video from my first weekend on air. For the surface map, we're looking at low pressure over New England right now. That is going to bring in a weak cold front and again, no precipitation associated with this front. For tomorrow's planner, you are looking at 45 degrees by 7 o'clock and then you're high at 60 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for helping me celebrate nine years here at WHSV.